Warning, this video may contain foul language and crude humor and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in your toy hunting missions. Let's debrief. Today, we're taking, this is kind of a part two Look at the Masters of the Universe, Battlefield Warriors, uh, Target exclusive, He-Man with Battle Cat. Um, not just re-showing you the uh, packaging, I'll show you real quick. Um, I got it at an angle because I got a light around my camera to highlight the colors and such, not just the light up from up above. So I got it turned here because if I turn it like that, you see that. So this is the front. Let's turn off this light. See what we can get with just that light. Real quickly. You guys, most of you guys have already seen my other video of this. So, but what I wanted to highlight was I was able to pick up another one of these at Target. I ran across one and I unboxed it because I'm not going to unbox the single He-Man with, with a battle cap, but I decided to open up one of these and show him off because I like the the battle wounds and his wound on his face you get an extra head if you look at the picture up here his hair is kind of blowing in the wind kind of thing that's what that is at least it's a vintage face and then you get an extra hand Actually, that's the hand I took off. I put the, the like, weapon kind of hand on this thing. You get a couple of these gargoyles. You got These guys are cool. If I can focus in. Come on. There we go. And this one has wings. And I guess you're supposed to hang these off of a Castle Grayskull or something. Put those aside. And then you get this stand that's broken into two pieces. It just snaps together. And it's supposed to be a similar to the Castle Gray Skull plastic with the white dots. I'll take He Man off. Look okay. at Battle Damage. Battle Cat. And he's got shinier armor than the regular one. The regular one is a dull red. And it's just like the regular one, just painted a little different. The red marks for the battle damage. And there's some on this leg down here too. On his chest, some more on that leg and shoulder, that butt cheek. And then if you take off his helmet, his face looks like that. He 
Yeah, there's his eyes look a little weird because there's the paint is gl glossy, so there's a shine to it because of the because the light around my camera. fairly well easy to set up not too hard his head moves get a good good visual and then we got he-man battle damage he-man he's got cuts on that leg nothing on the one arm he's got his cheek got that arm comes with a shield and then I like his chrome battle armor then he comes with his axe he does come with a sword and the sword is whole is not a half sword that's pretty cool, especially when you spend 50 bucks on this fucking thing. But, and then you got the vintage head. So you could... Uh, put the hair blowing head on. Or he's maybe he's getting a real aggressive. And then sit him up on top of Battle Cat. Set up his axe. A little damage. And he's ready to roll. So, but this guy's pretty sweet. This is the one I'm going to display because I'm glad they put the little display stand that's going to help set up in front of the package eventually and then you get the the other head and the two little gargoyles and the extra hand so i think it's worth 50 bucks some of you guys might disagree but that's okay um this is war journal toys i am jason if you like my content Please subscribe, share, like, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.